Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have a Uniden 900 megahertz analog cordless telephone with caller ID and digital answerer. Can't think of too many situations where they called it an answerer, but they did here. It supposedly has the extended range, which I think more or less every phone they made claimed to have extended range. And now they call it digital answering system, which is usually what they say. 15 minutes of recording time, day and time stamp caller ID call waiting, 30 number caller ID memory, which uh, <clears throat> is kind of an interesting situation, the memory in these phones, because the caller ID log is stored in non-volatile memory, yet the speed dials, which take a copious amount of time to input, are stored in volatile memory. So, this is model EXAI2980i, which I believe indicates that it would have come with a headset in the box. Unfortunately, it's made in the China. And this is the original battery. We have a major case of foam deterioration on this one. And it was made by the GPI, and it is from the 2001. And it does still work, I just haven't had time to charge it up before the video, so I put another battery in there for now. So the phone itself is in pretty good condition. I haven't worked with this handset all that much, I only have one or two that are like this. It's a very, very heavy phone compared to uh, the 7980 for instance. And it also just has a very solid feel to it. Everything is just really sturdy, no creakiness whatsoever. The battery's a little bit loose in there, that's what that sound is, because uh, the foam isn't there anymore. But it's a really solid feeling phone. Headset jack up at the top. The earpiece is probably not anywhere near as ergonomic as the 7980 is. And the handset itself isn't really either. The 7980 really is good with the ergonomics. This one, not quite as much. Um, the antenna is still there, a little bit hooked, but not anything to be of a concern. The base is kinda dirty but it's in decent condition. I suspect it'll clean up pretty well. It's got this black stuff in there. I've seen on a couple of phones. I don't know what it is but it's very difficult to get off. There's the answering machine controls, the microphone on the bottom, and let's grab the informations real quick. Okay. And on this one, there is no physical controls for anything. All the the uh, answering machine settings are menu-driven. And I'm not actually sure how this would switch from tone to pulse. Uh, it's got to be hidden somewhere in the menu. Let's see if it's on here. That doesn't have very many settings at all. Huh, well, I'm not sure. I'm, I suspect it can do so because it has the tone indicator there to switch temporarily. But, uh, maybe it's in the base. Anyways, let's begin by calling it up. Oh, the base ringer is not what I was expecting it to be. Okay, so the auto talk is not on. I want that to be on. I'm, I think these settings are stored in non-volatile memory. I think a lot of people just never went into them. Okay, let's try calling again, make sure the auto talk is working. It is. Okay. So let's call out to the testing answering machine and we'll record a a uh, testing message. Whoops, this just fell apart. Oh dear. Not that this works that well anyways, but...
Okay, this is testing from the handset. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we'll call from the speaker phone. You have no messages. Wait a minute, there is no speaker phone. Thur. Okay, let's take a lesson to that testing message. One new message and twenty six old messages. Message one. Okay, this is testing from the handset. One, two, three, four, five, six. End of messages. Okay, that sounded pretty good. Now we'll make an outside call. Today. Good morning. Thank you for letting us serve your financial needs today and for years to come. Today is Thursday, September 10th. People's United Bank time. Sounds a little bit on the high side. I think the receiver cap could probably fare to be replaced at this point. But otherwise, that seems to work just fine. So let's check all the buttons out and make sure those are working. Check and make sure they're modulating too. Okay, they are. The last call on this came in on 713 and today is 910. I wonder if this was used up until very recently. Okay, so that is working correctly. Now let's take a look at this answering machine. You have no messages. Screen is really dirty. It's kind of hard to see as a result. Goes up to nine and zero. You have no messages. Answer off. Hi, you've reached Heather and Greg. Sorry we can't get to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and your phone number, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Bye. Okay, so we'll delete that out of there. We don't need that anymore. Where is the greeting button? We have to go in through here. Greeting message. Hi, reset. Your greeting has been deleted. Time. Thursday, 9.55 p.m. This sounds like the same voice that's on the um, that compact handset one with the flat horizontal base I recorded a few weeks ago. The pronunciation is slightly different. It's it's generally speaking the same voice, but there's definitely a uh, a difference in the way this pronounces things. It's it's overly emphasized and clear. Greeting message. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Time. Thursday, nine fifty five p.m. Security code eight zero. Ringer volume low. Uh, how do we change that? Low. Ringer volume low. Low. High. Off. High. Ringer volume high. Ring time. Toll saver. Toll saver two. Record time one minute. I don't think I saved that ringer setting. I'd hit set again. Um, oh, let's record a memo. Record your message after the tone. Recording after the tone. Okay. Um, now let's call it up and record a message. Answering system is off. Let's go ahead and use the equipment here. Answering. No one 
is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. That was a close call. We almost had a major feedback freak show. Okay, now let's change the greeting to a custom one. Greeting message. Hello. Record your greeting after the tone. Hello, this is the hardware store. We are all out of donuts and cheese. Hello, this is the hardware store. We are all out of donuts and cheese. Okay, let's try again. This is testing message number two, this time from the AT&T 210 trimline phone, speaking as closely as physically possible to the 210's microphone. Okay, now we have three messages. Before I forget, let's do the paging. You have three new messages. You have one new message and two old messages. This is testing message number two, this time from the AT&T 210 trimline phone, speaking as closely as physically possible to the 210's microphone. You have two old messages. Recording after the tone. Thursday, 9.56 p.m. That was a close call. We almost had a major feedback freak show. Thursday, 9.57 p.m. Messages have been deleted. Okay, so that's that for this one. It seems to all work properly. The answering machine is okay. It's not the greatest quality, but it's it's decent for a digital answering machine of the time. Thank you for watching.